Hello everybody! In this Python tutorial we're going to go over how to create a donut chart from a pie chart. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and import matplotlib.pyplot and then all of this code here is what we use to create our pie chart. So we've gone ahead and created our data for the sections of the pie chart. Then here we've gone ahead and created our labels that correspond to the data. Then here we create our actual pie chart plot. Now the trick to create the donut chart from the pie chart uses this code here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and create a circle. So we have created a variable and then we assign PLT, which allows us to access the matplotlib.pyplot. Then we use a dot and we access circle. And then inside the circle round brackets, we put three arguments. We put the x and y coordinates. We put the radius. And we assign the face color. Then to assign that circle to our pie chart, we use this code, PLT. And then we use get current axis, which will get the current plot. And here we have some information on the GCA, get current axis. Then we use a dot and we use add artist. And inside the add artist round brackets, we add our circle that we created here. Okay. Then finally, depending on the editor or IDE that you're using to actually get the plot to show up, you may have to type out plt.show. Let's close our help screen here. And if we go ahead and run this, you can see we get our donut chart over here in the console. Now one thing I want to point out on this XY, you can move that circle around, but in this case you probably just want to keep it 0, 0. But let's just show you, if you put in a different number here, let's try 1, 1. You can see it moves the circle way off over here. Or you could put in 0 0.1. And you can see that the circle is on the chart, but it's not properly placed. So to put that circle right in the middle, all we have to do is put 0, 0 for our xy argument. Okay? So that's all we have for this Python tutorial on how to create a donut chart. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.